I went ahead and put a, a white base coat on it to start. Now I'm just going to throw some white in the brush. Normally when you're working with black, you do need to add uh, white before whatever other color you decide you want to do. And this is the stencil I'm going to be using for my uh, my shell. One thing I have learned from doing craws is that you want to go um, lower than you think you need to. And then space it out more than you think you need to. So you got to remember your overspray is going to bring it higher and further. good with that. Now we got to do the other side which is always fun trying to line them up. Trying to do it with a camera in front of me is going to be even harder. That's pretty that's pretty good now once you get the first one the rest ends up being quite a bit easier in my opinion so we've got our white on uh, not quite lined up a little off but that's okay but this is what you kind of end up with I like to do all of my white before I go to any other colors so I'm gonna go ahead and throw some on the bottom too and I'm gonna put some up uh, it's a wicked paint it's a yellow almost like a chartreuse on the bottom it looks uh it almost gives like a green with the with the black and then i'm gonna go ahead and stop there with the white and i'm gonna switch to a um a pearl blue we're just gonna go over that white That's how you get the uh, the blue shells. So I'm going to do the other side. See, but that's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and heat set it real quick. All right. Now I'm gonna grab some. I'm gonna put some purple in. 
And this is um this colors pearl plum that I'm going to put in the brush. I'm going to add some purple to that shell. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but there is now some purple with that blue. All right, so now we've got purple and blue on the shell. Clean out the brush and show you the next color. All right, next up is Wicked Opaque Bismuth Yellow. I'm going to go really light with this over the, uh, or under the belly, over the belly, whatever. You can spray it straight on that black if you want to, but it's going to give a, um, it's going to give like a fluorescent or a, well, maybe not. All right, so, so far we've got blue purple and then that bismuth yellow now is a really cool technique that i learned from a uh, bad boy custom lures oh, about to drop the crawl so we're going to take a piece of cardboard and a little bit of a sponge and put a drop of white on that cardboard Now what this does is it gives it a really unique um, textured look on the back or wherever you decide to sponge it. So you just put a little bit of white on that sponge and then you just start tapping it on that craw. Oop, that's way too much. Start tapping it on that craw. And I like to do the back and the face. And I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but it's giving it a little bit of a texture. And I'm going to bring it down just a little bit on the shells. So I don't know if you can, I guess you can kind of see it, but it gives it this textured look. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put blue in the brush actually, or I did already put blue in the brush in the brush. I'm just gonna go light with that blue over that white.
All right, and that's probably about as much as I'll do now. And I, you can kind of see more of that texture now. Now I'm gonna go actually back to white for the, um, the extra details that I'm gonna do. Now I've got, th this is just a, uh, it's a skin stencil from Whitmore Farms. Pick something I like. A little darker than I wanted, but that is okay. Over here as well. Let me do the other side. little bit of detail to this guy all right back to pearl blue so I'm gonna just take the pearl blue and just lightly coat it over those um that little skin pattern not as light as I wanted but oh well and the other side Right, now I'm just gonna swap to purple, do the other side, or put a little bit of purple on it, that same purple used earlier, and then be done. And that's it. I'm gonna go ahead and put some blue eyes in it, clear coat it, and then you can see it when it's finished.